Welcome back, folks, to Call of the Wild. I've heard that the mission is fixed. And let's go ahead and start with uh, this guy right here. Um, what one were you? Were you that one? Yeah, I think we're going to take that guy as a shot. And I think we got him. And so we're on Finland, and it sounds like the missions are fixed over here now. Um, and it does, in fact, when we look and look on here, it does show this now as popped up. So we're going to go take a look at it. Um, but first, we need to check what this guy is, because I think this is a... Uh, where'd he go? Um, I think this might be a piebald, like gold. And I'm not sure, but I came over because I had to pick up a decoy. For some reason, I got a decoy over here. Also, where did... There he is. Man, it's been a week or two since I've been out of here. So, I'm be honest, I'm just happy I shot him. And plumage type is black. Huh. I don't know if that's rare or not. No, that is super common, but I do see why they're landing, because, uh, we have... Oh, there's some stuff over there, too. Oh. I might have to take one of them as well. Um, I didn't realize I left all these down. I don't think I have the room to carry them. Alright, well, let me clean this up and move on to our next thing here. Also, there's, wait, there's moose here. Oh, man, this map is insane. Whoa, there's two bears? Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead. We're going to hit these bears up. Also, is there any good widgeons over there? I'm not sure. I don't think I have... Oh, I do have a diamond widgeon. Um, but... Oh, there's one in front of that rock. They're like camouflaged pretty good over there. But these bear... I kind of want that bear right there. Let's try this canning out on these black bears. Uh, 328. We don't want that one. We want 165. And hopefully... Also, there's a goose back there. Uh, what is that goose? There's so much going on right now. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, super focused. What is going on? Where did that goose go? Also, you're right there. I, I might take you as well. But I did want to see that goose. Oh. 270? I don't know if I can make that shot with this little 22. We'll try it. We'll try it. Um, I don't see him, though. There he is. Uh, we got to aim a little high. No. Nope. All right. Well, let's take a good shot at this moose. Um, 164. It keeps resetting my guns. All right. I think we have some bodies to find. I could be wrong, but I feel like it might be... Oh yeah, that thing's almost dead already. And it just died. Alright, let me go find some bodies. I did not realize it, but that bear actually went down like right away. Um, I'm hoping I got a good shot, which I'm assuming I did. If you remember, guys, if you are kind of... Uh, new or forgot the last episode or a few of them. Ooh, a gold. 
All right. We'll take that. That was a good shot. All right. Are you guys really going to do this right now? Shut up. That not kill you? Seriously. That was a dumb shot anyway. I forgot to switch my aim reticle. All right. Let's, uh... Let's see if we got this thing on a decent hit here. Um... I'm not sure, but I know that we have the moose right over the hill here. Somewhere. Um, I should be seeing blood on one of these trails. There we go. Alright, re medium. Wow, I forgot how many animals are on the stinking map. There's animals everywhere. And this guy would be happy if he's a silver. Yeah, he's good silver. Yeah, he's almost gold. All right. I assumed that because of the way his rack was that he was a good silver. Did something else die? That female did not die. Okay. Well, you can tell we got some work doing coming back. But um, actually, I think I'm going to work my way that way because that's where our next mission is with Oivu. So if you guys... For some of you guys that didn't know, Oivu has been a big old thorn in my side. He's a weirdo, has weird discussions with me while I'm trying to hunt and stuff. So I'm hoping this is fixed and we continue our Oivu mission today. So the last time we were here, we couldn't continue with missions because they were bugged out. And we're getting pretty close to this over here. And we're going to find out... Uh, there is so much wildlife here. It's 8 in the morning, and it is... I forgot how crazy this Finland map was. It just... I go two feet, and there's something. Um, and I don't have my shotgun with to quiet you down, Rock Parmitage. Um, and I don't have good enough aim to shoot with you the 22 in mid-flight. So, you're gonna live, buddy. Um... Trying to be careful here, but I think Mr. Oibu is going to make a reappearance here. Um, let's see here. Just making sure that it's like I'm not working in the biggest bear of all time or something. All right, let's see. When we get close, it should he should start the mission again. We might be on our way with missions. The last ice age created a lot of amusing <gasps> animals on the Finnish landscape. I've marked their location on your hunter mate, so you can check them out. Apart from natural landmarks, there are a few man-made ones here as well that I think would be worth visiting. I recommend you to check them out if you happen to be close to one of them. Well, I don't think I have much of a choice, Oivu. It's uh, good to hear your weird face again, though. I will say that. Uh, looks like we're going to be able to continue our mission. So for you guys that don't know, uh, when this map came out, we did uh, kind of to catch everybody back up on this series as we're working on it. Um, we are doing two maps, kind of, just to be able to take breaks from the other. You know, knock out some. Right now we're on... Lakeland District, we're trying to get the dang bears. Um, and we could use this change of pace. And these animals are not entirely smart on this map. It's like you can walk right up to these things. I accidentally almost ran into like two moose uh, uh, right before I got back on with you. So, uh, and the one thing I do want to make sure I am doing, and I do want to make these videos even better. But I don't want to cut out part of the mission thing. That still remains. Um, uh, you know, I'll, I might advance instead of, like, normally showing you guys this walk. I normally wouldn't do that. But since I was talking about it, we would. But honestly, though, uh, normally uh, I would just cut out the walk and bring you to this part. But I don't want to leave out the talkie bits because for you guys doing the missions, 
and kind of doing them along with me, which there are a couple of you, you know, a few of you doing that. I don't want to ruin this for you guys so that you can see everything that's entailed in these missions. Up the cliff is a lookout tower. This trail does not get any closer, so if you want to use it, now is a good time. Come back here when you want to continue the trail. Okay, so it's talking about wanting me to go to watchtowers. But when this map came out, I actually did all of the watchtowers. So I'm actually hoping this next checkpoint will take us to this outpost because... I gotta drop off them stinking duck decoys I left down here the last time I was here. There is also, so if you are wondering where we are on missions, um, we're, oh, we, that's new. Oh, so we got a new mission. We were really close on this. We have four left, but they're four hard ones. Uh, for me, anyway, they're hard ones, because I have to shock on them, um, except for the Grayling Goose, which has just been hard to find. I think that one I can find, but the Parmitages are going to be, the Parmitages and the Growoffs are going to be tough for me. But everything else, man, we're, we're on the road here, guys. So let me go ahead and walk up to this one, and I'll bring you back. There is this. I can't believe how much wildlife there is in this. This is crazy. Um, also, not every what episode we do is going to be a mission. Uh, you know, sometimes we're just going to have fun. I still want to try to get diamonds yet. But at the same time, a uh, big thing for me is working on these missions because there are some really cool missions that give you some cool animals coming up in both of these maps that I've heard from you guys anyway. So I definitely want to start. Halfway through the blue trail now. Have you been enjoying yourself so far? You've been asking some pretty you know, weird questions. Well, no, no, you don't even want to hear what I have for to example, say. The yellow trail takes you through the hills. My personal favorite, the one me and Pirio take when we want a long walk with Holly, is the red trail. It's a bit of a trek, but it goes down through the archipelago. Pirio is an oceanologist, so we can mix business with pleasure and bring our binoculars for some bird watching. We have many different species of birds that visit us. Uh, I don't remember the names of the birds in English. Uh, we have the uh, Metsahanhi and the Tukkasotka. And oh, oh yes, yes, <laughs> this one I know. We have the Golden Eye, which I remember because uh, Pierce Brosnan. Uh, he's good, James Bond. And maybe you know, birds can't keep secrets. So if you listen, you can usually hear them long before you see them. When I want to get really close to them, I usually use a pulse blind. We have them available in the shop if you want to use one. Talking about birds reminds me of a song me and Pirio made together a few days ago. We recorded the call of some birds and made this. It's very short, but I think it turned out funny. Uh, let me put it on. Why do you do this to me, Oivu? Good, right? Pirio is very talented. I'm starting to rethink and second guess, Oivu, leaving you in the videos and not cutting out what you say when you just say crap like this. <laughs> you said nothing productive so far today at all, you know, Oivu. of here is a lookout tower, and northwest of that, there is an outpost. It's a bit of a walk, but you can visit them now if you want. Or we can just continue on the blue trail. And you can continue bugging me. Oh dear. Any good ones? Uh, no, I'm looking at you. Trying to find your buddy back there. You really, you really only that? Ooh. Alright, we're by the water, which makes me think might need to scope out some stuff here real quick but yeah Oibu, you're making me doubt everything i just said about not cutting out any of your missions because you're talking like a wild man again 
not nearly as bad as you were before, but you were talking about mixing pleasure with business again, getting on some weird subjects. Um, ooh, what, what was that? I feel like there's animals moving up there. Golly. All right. See you in a minute here. You know, it's been a while, obviously, since I've been on this map, and I really forget how much I truly love this map. It just, there's animals everywhere, and it is just a beautiful map. You know, this country has a history of high accuracy riflemen. And I believe it is important that a hunter is a few things. Firstly, somebody that respects and understands the tick and talk of nature and our place in it. Secondly, somebody that gives as much as he takes in life. And thirdly, a good shot. You know, nature doesn't really mind suffering, but we don't need to add to it. I've set up a few targets for you to test your aim. Go to the rock circle to start. Let's start with an easy 150 meters. You can use whatever weapon and scope you want. Hmm. All right, are we gonna pour it out? Oh, wow, you're kidding me. All right, I think. Go to the next rock circle. Go to the next rock circle. All right, well, I think we're going to end it here. Yeah, I probably should have waited to shoot that because I feel like that's part of a bigger mission deal here. And where is that rock circle? Yeah, because it's going to take me on a big thingy doodler, I think. But with that being said, we also know uh, that Oibu is back. And the weirdism is going to continue, folks. So I will see you in the next episode, guys. It's good to be back on Finland, and I'll see you next time, folks.